right, welcome to Gabe Knows Play Games. Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We're doing a bunch <laughs> of... Well, we're. I guess we're not doing Christmas games necessarily. Oh. This is probably going to be the most Christmas of most of the games yeah. we play. But we're playing winter games. So <laughs> games. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, we. So today we're playing Visceral Cleanup Detail Santa's Rampage. And obviously this game's been out for a little while. I think since looks like 2013. But we thought it might be fun to play on the show. Yeah, why not? Shall I? Do it! Get your up ready. So neither of us have played this game. Normally when we, we jump into games on GDPG, at least one of us has played it before. Yeah. Uh, so this will be a little bit of a yeah. learning experience. Before you make fun of me. Name! Shut up. Affinity Archives. Age, 41. Occupation, Junior Executive Janitor. Brief. Judge. What? Judge. Judge? J-E-J. Judge. Anyway. The tra- Wait. Brief. <clears throat> the tragic events that unfolded at this workshop must workshop. in no way Way. Deter you from performing from your duties in duties. a manner befitting the company's reputation. Your work here entails cleaning up the horrific aftermath of Mr. Claus's unfortunate <laughs> breakdown. Why did you do that? <laughs> this includes the obvious slaughter and any broken items and so forth. <laughs> Please conduct yourself appropriately as this assignment will reflect upon your permanent record. Fail to follow company guidelines and regulations, and you may find yourself without a job. Once your assignment is complete, the corporation will take ownership of the workshop and any remaining items and employees. Ooh. All right, so we're cleaning up after Santa's rampage. Yeah. Okay, I should probably start doing stuff. What is is it the clock in? Wait, wait, so yeah, can, we, can we punch in? How do I... Uh, well, what other... Try... Poking other buttons. Was that like left and right click? <laughs> this is right. This is left. Is there a shotgun shell? Oh my god. I mean, Santa went crazy, right? I love I love the mop because I just be like, what's over there? <laughs> what? They're like, yeah, they're like what? really meaty yeah. mop Ew, not threads. Meaty. But they're, they're kind of like fingers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, where? Oh my god. Well, get to cleaning, man. Well, first, let's get a, ourselves a bucket. Yeah. We still haven't figured that out. Whoa, it goes deeper. Oh, oh. Just cause. Oh, there was an elf in that. Oh. Well. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> How do I grab it? I think you just. <laughs> Perfect. Did I, did I grab Great it? Great job. <laughs> There's got to be a different button. Try a different button. Try like enter. Or like one, two, three. Or like the other one, two, three. Whoa. I guess that detects where the, the filth is. Oh, there you go. Ah. Ha -ha. You got to equip the hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. So I'm I'm going to take a wild guess here, but I'm going to assume that while the bodies are there, you, you'll just, like, they. I think they produce, like, an infinite amount of filth. So I think you should pick them up and dispose of them. Oh. Uh-huh. I remember when I had a family. Die. <laughs> um... Well... Disposal bins. Yeah. I mean, do you... Oh, you're getting the floor all bloody. Whoa! See? Oh! <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, and now you can just put a bunch of bodies in there. Nice! Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. So then do you think you just, like, put it back in that... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just put it back in that thing. Either that, or I, from the little bit that I've seen other people play, they usually toss it in the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what happens when you work minimum wage. You get to clean Santa's workshop. I, I tried to make some sort of joke. It didn't end up happening. I'm sorry, everybody. This is really not a good game for colorblind people, though. I think I'm coming to yeah, realize. Yeah, how, how you doing there, bud? 
Like, I can it. see... Well, I can see all the filth, right? Like, on the floor. Like, I can see the blood, because it's dark. Do but it. I think the, uh... The bucket, like, is it getting more red? Yeah. Oh, it's too red now. I have to go dispose. I'm not gonna spill it. Oh! <laughs> go in. I don't know if that's what you gotta do. Maybe, oh, whoa. Oh, there you go. Good job, you did it. <laughs> it My god. It worked? Yes? <laughs> Didn't you used to work in, in fast food? You should know how this stuff works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know how this works. Hey, look, it's clean. Damn it. Stupid arm. Come here. I really have to wonder, though, how many people have actually played this game to completion, like, actually yeah. clean up everything. Oh my god. Like, I... It, oh, shit. I feel like when we're... So we're probably not going to, to beat the game, just to give everyone a heads up. Um, we're more just, like, checking yeah, it out for fun. Yeah, flies! What the fuck? Sorry. It's a fly, man. You're a fly, man. I wish I was. Actually, no, I've seen that movie. I don't... <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, man. I mean, I would be Jeff Goldblum. You would be Jeff Goldblum. Who wouldn't? As I was walking, one spawned. Ah! Because you still got bloody feet. There should be like no! a, a step on the mop mechanic. All right. That's what I used well, to do yeah. when I worked in fast food. Oh, yeah. Duh. Just like clean your shoes off by stepping on the mop. Absolutely. Oh, it's too <laughs> red again. Seriously. All right. So this is a fun, like ridiculous game and I understand they're kind of going for a little bit of realism however if it's mop water that shit lasts for more than like five seconds depends if you have a tiny little bucket like that probably not no, that's fair that I wonder what the, the full game of visceral cleanup is is like because I bet there's I mean it's got to be a lot more in depth than this there's got to be a lot of like mechanics and stuff um but yeah, like, if, just consider this, if this were like a full game, right? Like, hours and hours of gameplay, and all you were ever given was that mop and bucket. It's like, yeah, it's it, a little, it gets boring. It's It gets boring, and it gets very monotonous, because it's like nothing will ever be as clean as you want. <laughs> but these kinds of games, I, I feel like this is a very special kind of game, too, because it's like, you don't necessarily play it because it's fun. Um, and you like you you kind of play it because it's funny. Yeah. Um, but I think it's actually more of a. Oh. What the fuck is this? I think that's a hand. No. What? Or a penis? I mean, it looks kind of like a penis. Whoa. Well. I'm gonna burn that. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, later then. Oh, but how did these get in there? You gotta get into the zen, man. Like, There's no zen in this. It's cleaning up after a horrible murder. Obviously, you've never enjoyed your working at a uh, fast food joint. Yeah, what gave that away? There's a certain zen to cleaning. It was like when I worked at uh, Subway. It was doing dishes was like, I think we called it dishwashing meditation or, or dish oh. dish therapy that's what it was and uh it's just like your way of getting getting away from everything just like relaxing washing some dishes like it's not mm. a big deal like you're uh, obviously when i wash dishes it wasn't like oh look at yeah. how clean this is like oh my god clean this yep. shit <laughs> but it still was it was nice because it was Chris, like that was oh, scary <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you would have not liked me when I worked at Subway if you worked with me. Because not only was I a, a manager there, but I uh, I was a little crazy. Yeah. Oh, you're tracking, more, you're tracking blood in here? Oh. You gotta start Listen, like... Listen, Subway Chris. You gotta start like center and move your way out. There's a flow to these things. <laughs> oh, Kuja, do you want to play this one? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Cool, yeah, that'll be fun. I'll play the other one later. Are you calling cool. me a backseat driver? I don't know what uh, what you th what else I would be doing, but yeah. <laughs> Cujo, I have some words for you. 
fuck you. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> See, it looks fine. <laughs> fine. You can basically eat off the floors at this point. Yeah. Just not for another couple hours. <laughs> so how do you think this game, like, what do you think the concept of this game started as? Because they, so... I feel like the original concept had to be like, you play Santa, you're gonna kill everything, figure out how to do it, and then the second, it was, this was almost like the secondary game to go along with it. Well, like, you, pl you initially play as Santa, killing your elves, and then the second part of the level is cleaning up after yourself. I, I think that's sort of a fair way of looking at it. I mean, the, the original game, because um, this is just like a spin-off, I think this was made to like help promote the real game. Um, which is was incredibly intelligent, I think, in in my in my opinion of mm. what they did, um, because yeah, YouTubers jumped on this shit. But uh, the original game is you're in a space station and you're cleaning up after like some horrible aftermath of some like alien invasion. Basically, if you were like the cleanup crew for Dead Space. Got it. Um, and maybe that was even the original concept, right? I bet you know the developers were playing. A game like Dead Space, and they're like, "Wow, there are just bodies everywhere. This would be awful to clean up." And they're like, "Well, what if what if there was a game where you were the janitor and all you did yeah. was like clean up after the carnage?" It's like, "Do you think we could make something fun?" Like, I don't know. Let's uh, let's make a prototype and find out. Yeah. So when I was in school, um, one of the the teams made a game that was like, I think it was. Like, either you're the janitor for a superhero or, like, a secretary or something, and you're supposed to just, like, go around and organize their, their like, secret laboratory or their oh, secret, like, headquarters. Cool. And I think it was before this game came out. Either that or, or the people working on the game um, saw this game still in development and were inspired by it. Um, but it was actually pretty fun. One of the best 3D artists I've ever met and worked with was on that game. And it was oh, probably yeah. the only reason that the game looked worth anything. Design-wise, though, I think they kind of fell short. But that's kind of how it goes in Damn school. It. You gotta make... I think the, the, the saying is you have to make at least ten awful games before you start making any good ones. Oh, yeah. One reason why I'm here. Well, it's like a, it's the same philosophy with wrestling too. You got to work a certain amount of shit shows before you start actually getting good. Uh, that's fair, actually. I mean, I think that goes for most things, really, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite quotes from Adventure Time is, "Sucking at something is is the first step at s starting to get better at or like good at something." True story. And it's like, yeah, that's yeah, true. I mean, it's you always suck at stuff in the beginning. I don't know, I feel like it would get very, 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 very old. Rather quickly. Uh, that's why I think this is the kind of game for a specific kind of person that yeah. gets that zen out of uh, cleaning, you know? Yeah. Like, this is something that if I start, I will have a hard time s stopping until I'm done. Like, I'll be like, it's not clean, I can't, <laughs> I can't leave it. Like... I've already invested so much time into it. I need to finish it. Got to finish the job. See, with me, not so much. Like, does it look somewhat present? It's how my room is. Does it look somewhat presentable? <laughs> cool. And then leave. That's when I get to cleaning my room. It's 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 a madhouse in there right now. See, it's like I I'm okay with with like my environment being messy for the most part. It's it's when I start organizing something, I go crazy, and I just have to, like, finish everything and make it perfect before I stop. So what do you think happened to make Santa go crazy? You think it's just, like, the chaos of the holidays? No, I think it was when he found out that they're already developing PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2. Well, why wouldn't they be? It's more because then he's like, God, not again. <laughs> Not again. No more. Well, consider, oh, just because on. they've started development doesn't mean it'll be ready for at least, like, five or six years. There's actually a sort of like a timeline to these things, too. Even, so say, like, the console was ready. Um, say it was ready tomorrow, right? Like, they already had all the hardware spec'd out, and they knew everything they wanted to do for it. Um, they may not want to release it immediately because there's a... You get burnt... Like, the consumers get burnt out. Um... It's actually something that I think 
both Nintendo and Sony have dealt with on the, the like, portable gaming device yeah. end. Um, Nintendo especially, because they just keep spitting them out. And yes, they make money for pretty much all of them. Um, there's a certain point in which players aren't going to buy the next one because they're like, we don't care. We just want to play games. Yeah. Do you think this game would benefit from having a crosshair? Yes. You think so? Absolutely. Why? Because if, say, the mechanic is in place where, depending on where you... (laughs) Depending on where you swing the mop uh, depends on how quickly your mop gets dirty. Right. So if you're on the edge of something that's dirty... Excuse me. I just had my esophagus was like, no, we're just going to rebel. Um, <laughs> say you're in a, like that blood pile over there. Okay. Right. You're trying to clean the outer edges before going into the meat of the, the, the pile. Mm-hmm. If you don't see where you're aiming, you could hit the you middle. just immediately dirty your mop and that's it. Well, why is that bad? I mean, you have to clean it anyway. Uh, yes, but then you get it dirty, but then because you're going so quickly... But, like, consider, that actually could be more efficient because then you have less actions you need to perform before um, you have to ring out your mop again. Mm. I'm user action efficiency. That's what it is. If I were playing, I think I probably would start by just, like, burning all the bodies first. Just so they're out of the way, you know? just... Well, you didn't knock the bucket over, but touching the body on everything. I'm tired of this chair. I don't care. Get in there. It's probably covered in blood anyway. Wow. Sorry. Wow. So much sense. No! <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> What's that? It's out there. Oh, it's all pretty. Look at Aww. that. Just think about how much fun it would be out there right now. <laughs> I want a bucket, not a spleen, whatever the hell this is. Good, th- thank you for the... That's confusing. I think I understand what they're trying to do, because they, they don't want so many buckets around, which is just alleviates a lot of the problem. Oh, do you think that's what it is? I figured it was a random thing where every now and then it just, like, spits out an organ. No. Oh. Maybe. I think it's just random. I mean, I'm sure there is a point where it might not spit out any buckets if you have too many out. Well, okay, I, I understand what they're trying to do with the light. They want it to look warm. They want it to look welcoming and, and relaxing. However, compare the color of the bloody mop with the floor right now. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see. The, that is my one complaint so far with the visuals, is that because they're using such a warm light it's 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 making my head hurt a little bit well oh. I mean, ooh, it only really becomes hard to see the mop though when it's like totally soiled and at that point that's actually a good indicator that um <laughs> that you need to clean the mop i don't think that's so bad and i don't think the light's actually meant to be warming or, or like welcoming i think it's actually supposed to reflect the horrible carnage of <laughs> Yeah, the scenery. True. I mean, what if like the blood splatter got on the lights, and that's why it's so like reddish and hue. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I want to know what happens. I, I feel like it's pretty obvious. You don't put dynamite in a game where you clean things uh, by putting it in fire for no reason. Get out of my way. <laughs> Come TNT, let's have fun. I think this is why you need an office job, Cujo. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh! I die, and I'm an elf. Oh god. Jeez. Oh no. What did you do? What? Uh, Maybe it shot like one of the dynamite sticks over there. Substitute hygiene technician. <laughs> The careless work ethic of your predecessor led to his death. 
shaming the company. We require that you, as a substitute, fill this opening immediately. Perform your duties in accordance with the company guidelines. Regulations will be replaced. Forms will be evaluated at the end of... That's... <laughs> Hilarious. Can afford yet another workplace safety lawsuit, so work responsibly and safely. <laughs> archives 2. Or Affinity Archives 2. Nice. That was kind of fun. That was... That's cool. Especially... Does it keep your progress? Oh my god, everything got worse. Uh, no, it, it did keep some of your progress. Uh... So it's not for naught. So I guess it's like... That's one way to kind of keep score, right? Is how many times you've died in the process of cleaning this place. It doesn't even fit... Perfect. I wish there was a throw. Yeah, that would have been nice. Like a pick up and then click, like, left or right to propel rather than just drop. Aww. My Christmas tower died. It'd be hilarious if you could line up everything. Oh, it just disappeared. Oh, alright. Well, there you go. You burnt it. So mechanics-wise, what do you think? So far. I mean, I think it... Pretty much does everything it needs to. Um, sort of a, a two mechanic game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Clean things with one action, dispose of it by picking it up and removing it. This thing still confuses me. Yeah, I, I still think that's just a good way of like detecting the remaining blood stains and stuff after you've already done a lot of cleaning. Oh my, that's an interesting gun. No. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, I don't think it needs much more than that. And I think that Sniffer is just good for the end game when you're basically done and you're just trying to find those last few spots. Yeah. Um, or maybe there are secret rooms and stuff, you know? It'd be hilarious if you could just, like, eh. saw it off. Eh. I'm helping Santa. <laughs> you're a monster. It, it doesn't necessarily work for me. I could totally see how it would be something like right up your alley. Um, My other thing is, I just, I really want to see what happens if we do clean everything, you know? Like, do you get something out of that? Or is it just like a, the satisfaction of doing a good job? I feel like it's that. <laughs> Probably, right? Like, I, I actually wouldn't be upset if I was only given that, but... Your reward is that of a job well done! <laughs> <laughs> I think it it doesn't need to be anything more than what it's trying to be. Yeah, it's true. Um, and I think that was kind of the flaw in, in the game that I, that was made while I was at school, was that they were trying to make it like a puzzle platformer in addition to kind of like a cleanup game, and it, mm. it just became too many things. I think this game knows exactly what it wants to be, and it doesn't have any shame in, in doing that, even if it's for a niche audience. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, man. All right, Santa's wow, a little Santa's bit crazier than I... Oh, man. I wish there was a good way to read these. Yeah. I wonder if that actually has legible text. Look, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. All right, we'll end this episode with a bang. Kujo, do you have any other thoughts? Oh, other than the fact that I somehow survived. Um, I think it's clever. I think that it's fun. I wish that they would really kind of... I almost wish that they gave you a little, like, a mini, mini tutorial. Like, hey, this is your mop. You clean it. It gets dirty go clean them up. Yeah. Know? I mean, with the two mechanic game, I guess the assumption is is that it's simple enough to just kind of figure well, it out by doing it. Right. you did. But um, then there's this, which is never yeah, touched yeah. on. And, and even there was the issue with the, like, interacting with the machines yeah. and stuff that we couldn't figure out until we realized that we could just switch to hands. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, I think all things considered, though, for a, a spin-off game of a full game, I don't think it's so bad. No. It's assuming, especially if it's a spin-off game of a full game, it's assuming that the player has already played the full game. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, at oh. the same time, I... Whoa, god. my god. That is... Oh, intense. Oh, all the stab marks. <laughs> They're also there. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dark. Um, I think dark. actually the point of this game though was to help promote the the full game. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing that most people that played this game might not have actually played the full game. Oh, um, that's true. I mean, I, I guess it kind of goes both ways too. Yeah. Um. I I think the thing that I'm the most curious about is how effective this was for promoting their game because this game's super cheap on Steam. Yeah. I think it's only like two three dollars. 
and it's I mean it's more than worth that yeah um, and I, I'm sure the full game is worth a lot more than that but yeah no I, I guess I'm just curious to see how how effective that was that's right there's this thing I think you can put stuff in there oh. yeah. anyway anywho well this was fun <laughs> uh, uh, what's our question of the day should we ask if um, if anyone else has played this and if like what kind of what kind of experiences you guys had? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty open question, but... It, it, it's not so much of a question. It's more of like a... If you guys have played this game, leave your little review and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, the game is simple enough that mechanics-wise there wasn't really all that much to really talk about. Yeah. Um, it's more about the experience, I think. Yeah. And this... It was fun. It was a nice little distraction for a little bit. <laughs> so I liked it. Um... Am I that kind of an OCD guy who will spend hours cleaning up Santa's workshop after slaughter? Not personally. Chris is. Um, but this was fun. This was cool. I had fun. Cool. Thank you for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for the rest of our Christmas wintery games. Holiday. Holiday games. Yeah, that's right. It's. I mean, this is the most Christmas it's going to be. That's true. So, happy holidays, everybody. Bye. Run for the hills. <laughs> run really, it's run to the hills. Life. <laughs> <laughs>